Adam C and welcome to what you can probably tell is the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the free online car show directory and today I'll be looking at the car park of the car show. You can basically pay an extra little sum of money to park your car within the show of Goodwood Festival of Speed and these behind me are the cars that have turned up today. This is the Saturday. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the cars that have turned up. You can see already there's quite a few lovely colours about. So I'm looking forward to showing you what people have brought along. So we are starting in a fairly random part of the car park but there are a lot of Lamborghinis on display including this white Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. One of the first few SVJs that I have seen and I know that it's not the only one that is here today and this weekend there have been quite a few as well as this Hurricane Performante Spider there have been quite a lot of those as you can tell there's a coupe next to it as well and we've also got two more Hurricane Performantes including this a luminous yellow car which does not take life so serious why it's so serious he says on the side but it is not a supercar car park it is a performance car car park so things like Evos can take part as well but it is mainly supercars such as this 675 LC which does have the roof scoop option. We've also got a 918, the number is 88 on the side which is leaving already unfortunately. And for a bit of variety some has brought this old vintage Sunbeam along. This was here yesterday and looks marvellous amongst all the other performance cars here. We've got this rather rare Aston Martin Virage built as a middle ground between the DB9 and the DBS. We've also got Yanomai's rather mad looking Aventador S and another Hurricane Power for Ranto next to it. And next to this V8 Vantage is Shmi 150's new G-Wagon. I'm guessing this guy does vlogs about cars. Auto Vlogs 570S. Aston Martin V12 Vantage, another Lamborghini Hurricane Performante and a Porsche 918. We kind of missed the one earlier. This is a rather standard example without the Vysak package. We've also got a nice combo of this Aventador SV next to a Ferrari 458 Speciale. Another Lotus Exegius one is the 410 Sport. Looking nice and blue with a few yellow accents on it. Well, the white SVJ is leaving. We've also got this Gen 1 Gallardo Spider, which has been wrapped in a more modern shade of green next to an Aventador, a 911 Turbo S and a Hurricane Performante Spider. However, next to that is something that a lot of you will lust after. This is the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR as seen in the Fast and Furious films. And it is owned by YouTuber Black Panther and he is part next to this colour flip Lexus. We've also got this Dax Tejero, which is another AC Cobra replica, just like mine. I did bring mine last year and parked around about here, but I have not brought it this year because I missed the deadline to get the tickets to park in this car park. We've also got TGE's brand's new 488 Pista with his yellow headlights, which is a rather brave option. And the blue and yellow theme is continued on the interior, almost like a marketing stunt for Ikea. And the Lamborghini Hurricane with a number plate that spells boom. Just beyond this blue Audi RS6 event is this Audi RS4 event, which has been slammed to the ground. Also got a combo of yet more 720 S's. And check out this 911 Turbo S. The spec is uh, definitely unique with a few red bits here and there. Red bumper, red wing, the red roof, red side skirts, wing mirror, stripes and splitter and yellow calipers. We've also got this McLaren 720S which has had a touch of mansory to it. Check out all of the carbon fibre additional options that have been put on this car and this very car is owned by Chris Eubank Jr. So he is roaming around the festival speed today. Check out all of the carbon against the volcano red and the three-dimensional number plates as well. This is quite the specification to behold compared to some of the more standard 720s that are parked behind it. So they've changed the exhaust to a quad exhaust system and they've added these mega rear canards which have collected all the dust from the Goodwood car park. It's just quite a spectacular car this. Versus the rear end of the regular 720s which has the twin pipes and a more subtle rear design. We've also got another 812 Superfast who is planning to leave with a matte black Hurricane Performante behind it. This 675LC used to be owned by Shmi 150 back in the day and this Porsche 911 GC3 which has been styled in resemblance to the classic Porsche 917K Le Mans car which is actually funny enough just in that paddock. And behind some more of these supercars, including this lovely purple 
McLaren 570S Spider is a dense crowd who appear to be standing around a Batmobile. So this is a Batmobile. Someone has brought a Batmobile to the Goodwood car park. So you may not believe this, but this underneath is a Lamborghini Gallardo. Someone has chopped up a Lamborghini Gallardo and created a Batmobile out of it. And this very car was featured on the Gondor 3000 rally a few years ago. It is completely road legal and as you can see it is Arab owned and gets driven on the road. I can't imagine it's the easiest thing to get into if the hatch to get in is here. Um, or maybe there, it's, it's not going to be an easy job getting in that car. We've got two seats inside, from what you can see the driver's seat is on the left hand side and is slightly further forward to the passenger seat. And it has some of the largest wheels I have ever seen fitted to a road car, especially fitted to a Lamborghini. What are they? Everything here is weird. These are 26 inch wheels. Say what you want, is this a waste of a Lamborghini, etc, etc. I think it's a great use of maybe a car that was not in great condition to begin with and is such a crowd pleaser. This car has gathered more crowds than any of the other cars that we've seen in the car parks today, including all the 720s's, such as this one driving by. Now that was the majority of the cars that were in the supercar car park today. There was a few more. I did post them on my Instagram, which is here, including a lovely Shelby Daytona Cobra replica again but as a lot of the cars are leaving a friend of mine is at the exit where they depart and I'm going to go join him for a little bit and see some of the cars on the move. <laughs> doesn't look road legal to me. Is he trying to see out the windscreen? Is, is, that, is that what's happening? Yeah, he is the visibility. What? That's not road legal. James May's car. It's even got May written on the side. They have replicated James May's car from top here. That episode when they bought awful cars from an auction.
And that was pretty much that. A few of the cars leaving, not all of them, because I have a prior engagement I need to go off to now. So I'm going to leave a little bit early, but I hope you enjoyed that video regardless. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for updates and posts from all these events that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.